Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So over the last couple of days, I have been posting on the Acropolis bug that was affecting the snipping tool on Windows 11 and the snip and sketch tool on Windows 10. And uh, um, just a quick recap, um, apparently the vulnerability that um, the bug was causing was that it was used to recover cropped out parts of images that were previously removed during the cropping process and that Microsoft was working on a fix. And just to let you know that now that fix is finally available. And, uh, and Microsoft has finally um, resolved that Acropolis flaw uh, in the Windows 11's uh, snipping tool and the Windows 10 snip and sketch tool. And they've released an out of band or what we would consider an emergency security update that um, updates those versions now of those um, tools in Windows 10 and Windows 11. And those are available now from the Microsoft Store. So if you haven't checked and you may think or have been affected by the bug, which by the way, um, as I have mentioned previously, uh, is affecting more the minority than the majority. And there are quite a few um, um, kind of um, scenarios that have to take place before it can actually affect you. But nonetheless, head to your Microsoft Store. Uh, click on get updates and check that you get the latest update for the snipping tool and if we head over to that uh, the version now for the snipping tool on windows 11 would be 11.2302.20.0 so that's the latest version you need to be on uh, for uh, being able to have received that latest security update and for the snip and sketch tool on windows 10 that will be version 10.2008.3001 Point zero. Now, um, just a quick recap uh, for the purpose of today's video. Um, uh, basically, what was happening is that the issue was allowing uh, the tools to basically keep the data or the bits of those uh, images that were cropped um, instead of completely removing them after overwriting the original file. And obviously, this could cause problems uh, if you had a cropped sensitive images, as an example. Now, um, Microsoft has mentioned, though, with the um, release of this of these updates to both tools, that um, it's listed as CVE 20232830 and is actually a low severity vulnerability, as I have been mentioning, um, affecting more the minority than the majority because a whole lot of different um, scenarios have to be uh, enabled before the bug can actually affect you. And as mentioned, Microsoft has said it's a low severity flaw due to the specific conditions that must be met. And basically they have said um, a successful exploitation requires uncommon user interaction and several factors outside of an attacker's control. And if you want more info, I will po post a link to the original video I did um, upload and that will actually walk you through that process and um, how that bug can actually and basically be successful and be exploited. But nonetheless, um, just double check, head to the Microsoft Store and just check that your snipping tool and your snip and sketch tool are up to date resolving that um, a severity flaw in both tools. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.